Do you prefer games that make you think and challenge your brain? Then this list is for you. My top 10 puzzle VR games. Let's go. Number 10. Neon Wall is part quick thinking puzzle and part obstacle course. A wheel is rolling through a neon world and you have the power to swap the wheel color and change obstacles along the path. By changing the color of the wheel, you're changing the travel speed depending on which color it's rolling on. The wheel color also determines if a door will open up or a bridge will turn solid or disappear. You'll also need to clear a path by shooting away blocks that match the color of your gun. Or rearrange blocks depending on your gun color as well. What makes things especially challenging is that there are three colors total, but you can only manipulate two colors at a time. In order to manipulate a third color, you swap colors by changing the color of the wheel, which will also change the previously mentioned stuff. All of these factors together make it very challenging, and the later levels will require you to be constantly on your toes. I haven't beaten it yet, so I'm unsure what the total playtime is, but it's an engaging casual puzzler and it's budget friendly at $10. Number 9. Light Repair Team Number 4 is a laser light reflection puzzle game where you play as a light pipe repair person trying to restore power to a city. Light beams of various colors need to be routed, bounced, and combined so they arrive at their corresponding goals and matching the proper color. It requires a room scale of 2 meters by 2 meters, especially since there's no locomotion options at all. You'll need all that space to walk around the platform and reach everything. This game has some of my favorite ambient music and atmosphere. Something about the sound design and environments always absorb me and put me in a good mood. I was able to beat it in two hours, and they recently lowered the price to $5. It's a fantastic deal. Number 8. Obstruction is an abstract puzzle game with a deceptively simple task. Get the white cube into the goal. But while the task is simple, the execution is not. In every level, the way you move the cube changes the obstructions blocking the goal. And oftentimes, a level will have a new unique subtask that you must complete before you can clear a path to the goal. The visual design is minimal and beautiful. And thankfully, there are happy bird sounds playing because sometimes I reach my wits end with frustration in some of these levels. There's over 100 unique levels, and some of them took me upwards of 30 minutes to solve. So there's a ton of puzzling in here. It's an absolutely massive puzzle game that will warp your brain, and a great value at $10. Number 7. Ganog is a little tricky to describe, and even trickier to classify, but here goes. Cartoon Puzzle Box Musical. And I strongly emphasize Puzzle Box. If you've played the game called Form, then you'll be a little bit familiar with the gameplay here, albeit the visual design couldn't be more different. There's nine scenes, each with unique themes ranging from science laboratories to animals and nature. Each of these scenes contains a fantastic puzzle box with every imaginable type of lever, switch, or gadget that you're able to manipulate. Each 
Each scene consists of unique puzzles, and with every new scene, you'll have a fresh challenge that you haven't faced before. The visuals are beautiful, and the audio design is top tier. Every little gadget and doodad has satisfying sounds when you interact with them. And there's an undercurrent of music throughout everything you engage with. You'll beat it in about two hours, and the regular price is $10. I have to admit that playing this is delightful. I don't know if there's much replayability here, but if you enjoy puzzle boxes and tactile problem solving, then I recommend it. Number 6. Bounce is a get-the-robot-ball-into-the-hole puzzle game within a quirky sci-fi setting. On your left hand, you're granted various gadgets to place into the scene. With your right hand, you can move and aim them how you wish, as well as release the tiny bot from its origin and reset the bot back to the beginning. The design is colorful and pleasant, and the music is fun to listen to. On some of the levels, you're treated to a fun scene through windows, with supervising bots reacting to the fact that you're helping release the bounce bot. The levels start simple and small, but the later levels get quite large and expansive. I found this game really addicting and enjoyable. It took me about 7 hours to beat all 50 levels. And after you beat the game, you can replay each level in style mode, in which you get scored by creative complexity instead of efficiency. It's one of the pricier games on this list at $20, but I say it's worth it. Number 5. Marble Land is a great example of a game with a simple concept, but executed beautifully. The gameplay consists of releasing the marble from its origin, and manipulating various gadgets to guide the marble to the goal. A simple premise, but the puzzles quickly become very challenging brain teasers. The imagery and audio are beautifully designed in a sci-fi fantasy setting. There's lots of attention to detail in all the levels, and it's all accompanied by a zen soundtrack. This is a highly polished game that plays great in VR. It's both pleasantly charming and very challenging. It's $15, and the estimated playtime is 5 hours, so it's a pretty good deal to boot. And speaking of marbles, in Super Puzzle Galaxy, it's all about sculpting sand to get the marble to roll into the goal. You sculpt the sand by choosing the height of the sand based on where your brush is. The brush size is changeable, of course. Then simply hold down trigger to sculpt the sand. In each level, there are three achievement markers to reach if you're up for an extra challenge. The game comes with 32 regular levels, plus 16 challenge levels. On top of that, there's also a powerful level creator, with tutorials that explain what everything does. The cutter will explode the energy ball. Use the cutter to create damage areas in your own level. 
If you don't feel like creating courses, you can download other user-created courses inside the game. This game is highly polished and very addicting, and it's another budget-friendly title at $10. The Steam page says it only supports Vive, but Oculus users have reported that it works for them. But unfortunately, no word on whether or not it supports Windows Mixed Reality. Number 3. The Talos Principle VR was a very successful flat-screen puzzle game that I'm sure you've heard of before. I've never played the original flat-screen version of this game, and even though this is a VR port, the vast majority of the game feels like it was made for VR. The way you use your hands to grab objects or make keyboard selections feels natural. It's a very good VR port. And since this was originally a flat screen game, it has the advantage of being a vast game with lots of content. It's the ultimate puzzle lover's dream come true. I'm not even close to finishing it, but I understand it to be upwards of 20 plus hours of gameplay. It's a zen puzzle game where you play at your own pace with a fascinating narrative that asks deep philosophical questions. The guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them. For they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. The puzzles are first-person mazes with new game mechanics changing to keep it fresh. At the end of each mini-maze puzzle, you get a Tetris piece. My temple awaits you, child. Go forth. Collect enough of them to unlock new areas and also unlock new tools at your disposal. To my knowledge, this is the biggest puzzle game in VR right now. So if you're a puzzle fan, then I think this will entertain you for a very long time. As such, it's the most expensive game on this list at $40. Number 2. Tin Hearts is a Lemmings-type game. Tiny toy soldiers march forward, and it's up to you to guide their path to the goal. You don't control the toy soldiers directly. You need to change other objects to steer them, starting with just simple blocks to make them turn, but eventually you'll be manipulating other toys to steer them. And there's some creative contraptions that get involved as well. Look, Daddy! It's working! It's working! You did it! You're the best, Daddy. The levels start small, but eventually you'll need to guide the soldiers through large toy shops. Sprinkled throughout, you'll get lots of backstory via reenactments and spoken letters. It is my great pleasure to extend to you this invitation to join our illustrious guild. Tin Hearts is impressive in every way. It bleeds production quality, the visuals are outstanding, and the animation is top tier. Even down to the way they crash on the floor and die. Which brings me to the time control. You can pause, fast forward, and rewind time, even after you've changed their path. I've tried other Lemmings VR games on Steam. This is far and away the best one. It's $20 and worth every penny. And number one, Transpose, is a mind-bending game that records your actions so you can use looped duplicates of yourself to solve puzzles. The goal is to get special cubes into their bases, but of course the execution is much trickier than it sounds. Whenever you begin a level, all of your actions are recorded. After you're done with your actions, you then choose to discard or keep everything you've done. After choosing that, you then begin the level anew and your actions are recorded again. If you choose to keep the previous recording, you'll see it played out and all the actions you did will still occur. The previous recordings are called Echoes. 
Early on, you're limited to just a few echoes, but eventually you'll be using up to eight echoes at once. Later in the game, gravity will become relative to each echo, and the physics of transferring cubes between different gravity directions adds a new challenge. I found the overall design of the game creative and refreshing, but especially with interfaces on your arms. On your left arm, you use a slider to fast forward time, which makes waiting for echoes less tedious. On your right arm, each echo is represented by a ring. Highlighting a ring will show where that echo is, and pulling a ring will destroy that echo. There's sliding movement and teleporting. Teleporting is required to cross gaps in almost every level. Based on my progress, I estimate 8 hours of playtime. I had an absolute blast playing this. For the price of $20, you get a phenomenal puzzle game. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!